Hey, uh, Danielle, do you want to go on a vacation somewhere? Yeah, sure. Where do you Where do you want to go? How's this? Yeah, yeah, I think that works. What's going on everybody? So today we are here at a Funko HQ located in uh, Everett, Washington. You guys have probably heard of it, right? If you're a Funko fan, I, I guess it's not that known or anything. No, I'm just kidding. It's like the biggest place that you can visit for Funko. So we're gonna go in today, go check it out. I know that there's something exclusive that dropped today. Um, I think it's like the Sorcerer Mickey or something like that. So we're definitely gonna pick that up. And then I think probably the first part of when we go up is getting the exclusives and also just seeing like what new stuff that they have in there. And then we'll go into each area looking at everything. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for right now and uh, we'll see how it goes. But we're waiting in line and uh, they should be opening up here pretty soon. Okay guys, so this is where I'm standing right now. This is the main street. Danielle's right here. Can you say hi, Danielle? <laughs> uh, so this is the front of the store right here. So you can see that they have all the fun display stuff like uh, Groot over there and everything. I think Batman and Spider-Man are up on this bridge right over here. But uh, So that's the front of the store. If you guys are curious of how long this line is, like this is probably what it's gonna be like right here. I don't know if you guys can tell with the autofocus and stuff right there and the exposure. But uh, if you come out here, there's also this uh, Silver Freddy. There is also the Hulk, Sully, Maleficent. I think that's Chewbacca. Yeah, Chewbacca. I had to like look off my camera so I could see it. And Huckleberry Hound. So they have a bunch of really cool window displays as well. Like they have this like soda one that's over here. You guys kind of want to take a quick look at that. But um, yeah, we're out here. I think they open in about like 20 minutes or so. But uh, yeah, I'm excited that they actually have an exclusive today and we get to check something out. A few moments later. All right, guys, I got into this point of the video and I thought to myself, I haven't given a shout out to uh, who was helping me in line. So Travis, um, he's also over on Instagram by the name of Sith.Legend. He has a YouTube channel as well, and we'll link everything down below. But he was the one that helped me uh, get a spot in line right before like everything opened and everything at Funko HQ. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to him. He's the man. And uh, yeah, he's the reason why we were able to make such a good video and get there at a good time. So thank you so much. All right, guys, we're heading on in. Let's see what exclusives they've got. Oh, should I grab a basket too? I'm just grabbing one for us. Okay, let's grab one for both. All right, guys. Alright, so this is the line that you wait to go looking for exclusives and stuff. Alright guys, so you can see that they have some Mecha Hulks, they have some of those, the Sorcerer Mickeys and stuff. Alright, uh, grab one of those. What sodas do they have? So yeah, it looks like they have the Hulk. A bunch of different sodas right here. Sorcerer Mickeys, so uh, let's see what sodas we have. Let's grab two of those, you want to grab two? Thanks babe. And then... We'll grab two of those, too. All right, guys, there you go. There's all the exclusives right here. I think we're going to go explore and see what else they've got. All right, guys, well, look at that. I found a chase. <laughs> there you go. That's cool. We we're just kind of looking around the whole store. I found a chase. There you go. <laughs> right on. Okay, that's awesome. Maybe we'll keep looking around if we find anything else, but there you go. Good start. Okay, guys, so we've kind of had a look around everywhere, so we're going to check out some of their exclusives. So right here up front, is where they have random store exclusives kind of that they've restocked and everything I'm trying to point out things to you guys that probably you don't see very often or that like you haven't seen in a while um but yeah this is pretty cool so they do have the alice from target that's pretty cool to see right there that's awesome but other than that i don't see any other really fun stuff like i said we went around the store and they have a lot of really cool things to look at but this is kind of their main like exclusive section so we'll keep looking around all right guys right up front here they have some of the new uh Godzilla and King Kong Pops. These are really cool. So there is a Mecha Godzilla right there. Kong. More Kong stuff if you want to get a closer look at those. Those are really cool. So I think what we'll do next, we'll go into uh, anime right here and see what they have. 
All right, guys, I honestly don't think there's anything of like note here in the Wetmore Forest area. It's kind of more for like little kids and stuff, but it looks like it's pretty empty. But I figured I'd show it to you because it's right next to anime. But uh, yeah, really cool stuff. So over here, this is where you're gonna find your retro toys. I wanna see if there's any other exclusives you don't see very often. Uh, oh, it looks like they do have metal heads down there. That's pretty sweet, which is awesome. And then they have the upside down Mr. Potato Head and the Barbie exclusive over there. Holy cow, guys, I'm just so overwhelmed. I just wanna point out to you like cool exclusives that I see. So let's see, they have some game stuff. Trying to see if there's anything else that's like noticeable for you guys. Oh, I love this display with the Huckleberry Hound in the train. Godzilla's up there. That's really cool. So we've got, ooh, they got this really cool Looney Tunes lanyard. I might, uh, I might need to pick that up. That is really awesome. Uh, let's see, what else do they have in here? Looney Tunes, more of the same stuff, animation. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Oh, that looks like, is this one of the, I don't remember, if, is, if, is this like the convention exclusive sticker? I, I don't remember, but it's Masters of the Universe stuff. Pretty awesome. They do also have Avatar. Looks like they have a restock and plenty of that, which is good to see Inspector Gadget. Uh, more anime stuff, more stuff that I don't really pay attention to. There's a restock on this guy. I know Attack on Titan's been really big. Huh, that looks like a reprint. If that's 2021, that is definitely really cool to see for sure. And then anything else, My Hero Academia for all you uh, anime fans out there. Center table right here, more anime stuff. Yeah, pretty cool to see though. I don't know how much footage we're gonna be able to get in here since there's a line for the exclusives that's over there. Um, but let's kind of sneak our way through see if we can find anything cool. So DC, for all you DC fans, I'm not a big DC guy, but still pretty cool to see. Simpsons stuff is over there. Bunch of Friends pops under there as well, if you guys can get a look at that. Some more DC stuff. Ooh, they have Batman lights. I wonder if they have the other lights. I'm looking for the Spider-Man lights. All right, guys, it's a little quieter back here, so I guess we can kind of take a look. Here's the Bat Cave for all you Batman fans. Batman's great and all, but I'm not the hugest fan, but it's still a pretty cool set piece. We've got the Batmobile in there. I don't know, I like kind of being back here because it's a little bit quiet, but really cool though. Okay guys, over here is where they have like excess like exclusives. You don't want to be in the video. <laughs> she was like trying to back away. Um, so this is where you're going to find all your like HQ stuff. So like Freddy holding the space needle, Donald Duck, Hulk, um, the robot Freddy, Freddy with the HQ. So yeah, all your like fantastic plastic stuff is going to be here too. All the shirts, mascots and everything. So this is actually really cool. I'm definitely gonna have to pick up one of these shirts or one of these hoodies that's here for sure. Like 100% definitely we'll have to do that. Um, and then yeah, more of the same stuff that's over here. But ooh, I might have to get this guy. I think somebody is sending me like a whole set of Candyland Pops. So I need to pick this one up for the set if that's the case. So maybe we'll do that. But uh, yeah, McDonald's Pop, Coca-Cola, Spam. Lots of really fun stuff here in this exclusive section, Funko exclusives. I'm just trying to show you guys pretty much everything that I see, more Disney stuff. Um, I picked up a Mickey Pop because I'm going to Disney World later this year and I want to take a cool picture. So we picked up one of those, but yeah, more of the same stuff, theme park stuff, more Disney stuff over there. I think some of these tables over here as well have Disney stuff too. So like Ryan, the last dragon, all your newer Disney stuff is gonna be here. Nightmare Before Christmas. That's pretty cool, Constance Hatchway, the Haunted Mansion stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, not bad. Uh, I'm just trying to show everything off to you guys that I think is cool. It's kind of hard to just focus on one thing because there's so many different things. These are newer pops that have just recently released. So we have like Lion Friends Pokemon. Uh, let's see what else, some of the Mech uh, Avengers and stuff, Mech Strike Marvel, Star Wars, Zombies. So all your new stuff right here. Let's see. There's a Good Omens, The Flash, Steve Irwin, Star Wars. So yeah, new stuff is gonna be like right here, newer common stuff. Okay guys, so we're going through here and this is gonna be where all your Marvel stuff is. So we'll probably walk around and see what stuff that they've got around here to show off to you guys. Right here, that looks like they have some sports stuff. So for all you football fans, 
They have some mascots as well. So those are really cool to see. But yeah, all your Marvel stuff. I love the set pieces that are around here with Deadpool, Captain America, Stan Lee, the whole Hulk Buster. Lots of fun things to look at around here. As far as like different pops and stuff go, I'm not really seeing anything that I haven't seen before. Um, I do like this two pack right here of uh, Spider-Man, like the meme Spider-Man versus Spider-Man and stuff. I think that's really fun. More Venomized stuff that's over there. I wonder if somebody hit a chase of this. That one has a chase, I know. So if somebody did, they got really lucky. That's a cool one. Um, let's see, what else do they have? Professor Hulk's right up there. More Lucha Libre stuff. Disney again. Um, and then over here, let's see what else do they have. More Marvel stuff. Fun stuff, though, nonetheless. Um, ooh, I do think they have some new WandaVision stuff over there as well, so we'll have to check that out um, once somebody's not there. But anyways, I think that pretty much covers it for Marvel. I don't really know what else to show you guys, but lots of really fun stuff. Oh, looks like it did open up, so let's check out what WandaVision stuff that they have. So they do have the new Monica Rambo. They do have Agatha Harkness, some older Avengers stuff. Winter Soldier stuff, so those are really fun to see. Okay guys, and I think this is the last area to really show off with like Star Wars and stuff. For all you Star Wars fans, I appreciate Star Wars, but I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan in the world. Um, so yeah, some of your Mandalorian stuff that's right here. Of course, Cara Dune or Cara Dune is not gonna be here. Um, you guys would know why. But uh, yeah, and this over here is where you would create your own pop, so I think we're gonna do that here in a little bit, but we're gonna keep looking around and see if there's anything else we wanna buy. But uh, overall, I think that does it for our visit to HQ. But yeah, I, so far I think it's a really cool place. Okay, I guess one spot that I did miss was the Harry Potter, but their music is really loud in here. So I'm gonna have to talk extra loud for you guys so you can hear me over the music, but there's some of your stuff. Ooh, there's this one. This is the uh, NYCC Madame Maxine. That's really cool to see. Some older Harry Potter stuff. There's a Dobby over there, Dementor. So those are awesome to see. A bunch of shirts too, set pieces. Fantastic Beasts, that's really fun. Other Harry Potter stuff. So I guess for all you Harry Potter people, I didn't want to leave this one out. So definitely cool to see all this stuff here as well. Okay guys, so we got our stuff. Plenty of things, bags of things. Really fun time over at HQ, guys. If you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend coming here. It's so much fun, but we're gonna go back to our hotel and we'll probably check out stuff that we got here in a second. Okay guys, so we're back at the hotel and I'm just gonna show you what we picked up. You know, at the store, it seemed like we picked up a lot more. You can see me right there, how's it going? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it seemed like we picked up a lot more, but when you spread it all out right here on the table, it's a lot less than I thought, but kind of to recap. So I wanted to pick up a shirt from Funko HQ. I really wanted this one. They just didn't have it in my size. But uh, yeah, it's got this little HQ logo with Everett right there, you can see. And that same thing is on the back of the shirt. So pretty cool nonetheless. But like I said, I think this one looks the coolest out of all the shirts that I saw there. Um, I love, you know, obviously in Seattle and like Washington and stuff, Sasquatch is a big thing. So I just think this is really cool. A couple other little items that I also picked up. I wanted to pick up a Funko pin. Uh, so from the HQ, I think it says Everett down there if you guys can see that. Also got a sticker, so we can put a sticker over on the sticker shelf. And this is gonna go on our fridge at home. We always get uh, different magnets different magnets and stuff from places that we visit. So that will be really cool. And then pop-wise, there really wasn't much that like I wanted to get like common-wise and stuff, mainly just exclusive since there was just new stuff. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention that we did get these sodas. So I'm excited to open these up. We'll definitely open these ones up probably later. I don't know why that doesn't wanna focus, but. Anyway, so we got two of the Quist sodas. That was the one that seemed to sell out all of, all of them. I think they had like the Lucha Libre sodas as well. So the Marvel ones. But anyway, so the exclusives that we got. So this came out a couple of days ago. This is the green, well, glow in the dark, I guess. Not really green, but glow in the dark Hulk. Oh my gosh, the focus is just killing me right now. I don't know why that doesn't want to focus, but we got that. So that was cool to get. We did find a chase, which was awesome. So it seemed to me that like people went in two different directions, either for the exclusives or to find chases throughout the store. I don't know if somebody had found this and then just kind of set it aside, but it was cool to find a chase nonetheless. 
We also got the new exclusives, the Diamond Sorcerer Mickeys. So those were really cool to see. And I think they ended up selling out from what I heard. Um, I don't know if it's at both stores like Hollywood and HQ, but I think they ended up all selling out today. Um, and then we also got a original Mickey Mouse because I'm going to Disney World later, um, well, in the summer and stuff, and I wanted to take cool pictures with that. And I also got a carrying case because I don't know how I'm going to carry all this home in a suitcase. So I figured, you know what, one of these is definitely going to be necessary. But overall, that was um, everything that I ended up getting. And I would highly recommend going to Funko HQ. So yeah, guys, overall, really fun experience. I really liked the store. It was smaller than like Funko Hollywood and stuff, but that doesn't make it any less like better. Um, I think it was like themed better. They had pretty much all the same amount of pops it felt like. And overall, I think I, I liked it and had a little bit more of a better experience at the HQ rather than Hollywood. I'm not I'm not slighting Hollywood or anything like that, like for all, all of my buddies over at Hollywood and stuff like that. But overall, you just have have to go to the HQ and kind of compare yourself. I, I just felt like I liked it a little bit more. Um, I also did end up picking up some pop people. So Danielle and I did get our own uh, pop people pops. So we'll be that'll be in a separate video. So if you want to look for that, that was awesome. But anyways, guys, overall, really fun stuff. Um, I would highly recommend going there. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you ever been to Funko HQ? And if so, what did you think about it? Or if you want to go, let me know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys are awesome. Like always, remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll catch you guys later.